Hey everyone, this is Jason Edelman here to do a quick introduction to Cisco NX API. NX API is now supported on the Nexus 3000 and 9000 series platforms. So the first thing you want to do to work with NX API is to log into your switch. And we're going to SSH into the Nexus 9000 over here. Put your credentials in there. And to enable NX API, log in, do your config T, and say feature NX API. So now NX API is enabled. We'll just do a copy, run start. We'll save that for later. The next thing we want to do is go to a browser. And we're going to check out the NX API sandbox. So again, we're going to go to the same IP address of the switch. Put our credentials in here. And last. I've checked NX API is only accessible via the management zero interface on these platforms. So we have the sandbox environment where we can try out different message formats, JSON RPCs, brand new in API 1.0, in prior versions of API 0.1, only XML and JSON were supported. And I've been using XML quite a bit because there's some added capabilities there. In the beginning, this was the more robust message format when you looked at XML versus JSON. So if we want to look at one example here, show version, click post, we see the body, excuse me, of the request getting sent to the device, and we see the response. So we see the response in XML tags and the actual data for each tag. All right. So again, like what does this really mean though in terms of accessing this data programmatically in a language like Python? Well, what we can do here is open a new terminal up, open the tab, go into the Python shell. Now we're in a, the Python dynamic interpreter where we get real time access from Python, great feedback if things fail, you know, if errors are raised. And now we can, again, pretend we're just building a script within the shell to see what it's like to interact with NX API. So if we want to do from device, import device, this is a, a module that I built to streamline the way you interact with NX API enabled devices. So the first thing we want to do is create a new variable that's of type device, instantiate this object, and say, um, here's the IP address of what we want to connect. And then we want to do nexus.open. And open isn't necessarily opening a connection to the device. Open, in this instance, is just loading in the proper credentials to use when you do go to log into the device to execute the show command or the, or the config command. So what we want to do here is now execute or send the show command to the device. So if we say get data equals nexus dot show, and we want to send show version. Right now that just went to the device and grabbed the programmatic return data we just saw from the sandbox and returned it back to the Python shell. So if we want the print get data, this is not going to be pretty. This is going to be formatted in XML. So we have a bunch of, you know, this mess here. But if we want to use this library called XML to dict, we can clean this up and convert the XML to a Python dictionary. So if we do that, right, we're going to convert this. And the return data is always a tuple. It's like a list. There's two elements in there. We always want to convert the second element of this tuple to a dictionary. The first element is for XML headers and other junk we really don't need for purposes right now. Okay. So what we'd like to do is we'll just say show version equals XML to dict what we want to parse here and convert from XML to be a Python dictionary is get data and that second element because the element zero or the first element are the headers that we don't need. Okay, and if we import import JSON right here, and we do print JSON dot dumps show version, we get a very clean output here. And this output, if you can see here, is the same exact thing we saw in the sandbox. Okay, so now the key here is how do we access this data and use it as you want to write a script in Python or build a program here. So the key here is looking at it, the top tier uh, top tier key value pairs is in CME API or INS underscore API. So it would be INS API outputs, output, and body. And almost everything with NX API 
what you want to leverage and use when you write scripts is is under body. So if we just want to streamline this a little bit more, we'll just say path is show version ins api outputs body. So now we have the path, right? And if we want to streamline this and print this out just to see what this looks like. We've now cut off that top tier where we can just access key value pairs within path. So if we wanted to do print path chassis ID, we can now access the Nexus 9000. If we wanted to print print the host name, we can print the host name. It's host underscore name by looking at the key value pairs right here. Okay. So now you can access this data very easily, and you can use the same process for all the show commands, map back to the sandbox, look at what the API looks like, that we have a good feel for what key value pairs you need to access. And then from here, you can access this data from the shell or in your Python script to do whatever you need to do. If you want to create your own data types, if you want to save these accordingly, send them to functions and create your own list of devices, gather neighbors, you can do a lot of this. And this was just meant to be a very short introduction to NX API. And hopefully this helps along, along the way as you start to uh, look at um, APIs across all device types out there. Thanks for watching.